Good morning. Welcome to Crochet Rocks. My name's Tracy and this is Rocks Chat number something <clears throat> or other that I've forgotten completely. So um happy to say allergies have all gone. Isn't that amazing? And you know that was after one one dose of that stuff. I haven't done it since. And um I haven't needed to. It's just amazing. It's like so, it's so, it's gone. It's actually gone. It's fantastic. Um, <clears throat> still feeling really, really tired at times though, which you know I guess since um contracting that vile disease, I will have to expect from time to time. Um, and I know that once I get kind of back into the swing and the diet kicks in, I shall feel an awful lot better, brighter, and I'll get up easier in the morning and all those things. So. I know that <clears throat> but um i just felt so rough and ill with all those allergies dragging me down that it kind of took over my life anyway my parcels arrived <clears throat> i'm a bit um a bit worried about it actually because you know this is the board and um as you can see it's it's absolutely enormous i can't actually show you the whole size of the board because it goes right up to the ceiling so i'm gonna hopefully what's inside is much smaller um i think the actual packaging is huge but i'm just hoping it's a bit of a, a ridiculous kind of exaggeration <laughs> it's not as big as i imagine i know i wanted it to be bigger than say a4 oh yarn it really doesn't take up a lot of room though. So, good job I didn't stick my pair of scissors in there at that point. Oh wow, it's really hard to get into. This is just the end of a box, so if I could turn it, it would be so difficult to... Maybe I'll just turn the scissors and try and saw it. Wow, all in. That works better than I imagined. Okay. Yeah, moment of truth. It is a long way down. Oh wow. Gary said it's not very heavy, but it is when you're trying to get it out of the box. So here it is, it's A2 size. I actually thought it was going to be, get rid of that, A3 size. But here we are. It is an A2 art board. So you kind of fit it like an old seaside deck chair at the size, at the, the sort of angle that you want it to be at and uh, then you can use it as a slanted surface so I'm hoping that this does the trick, oh my goodness more sellotape I think so hopefully um, oh, this will make sewing up my bag a lot easier I guess I've got to try get used to it, right here it is do you remember the old blackboard easels you had when you were a child? It's the same sort of thing, but it's not as it's not as crazy size now. I've got it out, so hopefully that will. Um, I'm gonna have to stop saying the word hopefully, won't I? That <clears throat> is my plan to um, to use that. So let's have a look at the yarn then. Let's put this on. I feel like a doctor putting a stethoscope on. So what we got, I've decided to give this a go. Now, much smaller than I imagined. <laughs> you know when you see it, you think, oh, that's going to be like a nice big ball. Think again. It's a, a 50 gram ball, but it is pretty. It's kind of nice, still breathless, <coughs> I've noticed. So it's the Women's Institute Soft and Cuddly 50 gram DK, which is a three weight. Um, exclusive to Hobbycraft. Now, this is shade number 72404. Colour is called Striped Pink Mix. Never. Um, four, four millimetre hook. Yeah, I say that's quite thin. 100% acrylic, 125 metres. But it is pretty. And although it um, says it's pink mix, it's got obviously lilac and some peachy tones in there as well. But you know this says DK, it says three weight. 
I don't know. If I look at that, I would say it's a four ply. It's really thin. It's uh, way thinner than anything that I normally use, but it's pretty. And I have three of them. And it was all they had left, believe it or not. So here they are, just three of them. It's cute, I like it. <coughs> it's got some lovely colours in it. As I say, it's got some peachy tones, some lilac and pink. Don't know what I'll do with it. Who knows? But it is nice. Very fine. It reminds me of um, the, the Deramore's DK that you can get. It really is thin compared to other DK weights. I showed them side by side once and you can see the absolute crazy difference. But if you look at that, that's very thin compared to a lot of DKs. Now this, I've got a new little project on the go. I know I haven't finished my others yet, but I wanted to design a little um, flower. <coughs> and I know that some other people have probably done stuff like this, but I wanted to make a popcorn flower. And the reason I wanted to do that is because I want to make a cushion, a big round popcorn flower. So this one though, I turned into a square and it is kind of cute. I mean, I like it. I do like it. I like the way it easily turns into the square very easily and quite well. So I've got a little, um, I've got a little project in mind for this now, now that I've made it. But I may do the tutorial for this square later on today. Very easy. I know it doesn't look it. Excuse me. <clears throat> I know it doesn't look that easy, but believe me, it is. A beginner could easily do this and feel good about the fact that they've done something different. So that will go on later today, I think. But um, apart from I've got two projects in <laughs> mind <coughs> for this, one for the squares and one just to keep going for my round cushion. Do you remember I bought some round cushion blanks? So I want to make, um, I'm sitting on one now. You'll be pleased to know that the Willow Square cushion is now the cushion for my tush. Uh, the other one, which is Gary's favorite, he loves that, is out in the uh, front room. However, Gary wants me to make him a blanket like it. Can you imagine how long that will take? And um, how much of that really snazzy yarn you'll need? It'd be an incredible amount, wouldn't it? However, I do have a lot of the Poundland, which is very similar, not quite as bright, but he wants it because it's thick, you know, and when he gets cold in the evenings, he, he complains that the blankets that I've made are not big enough. I think he wants them to cover him head to foot. That would just be enormous, but incredibly gorgeous. And I do have a lot of black, maybe not enough, but I do have a lot. And, um, I do have a lot of that Poundland variegated yarn that's very similar to that bright colour um, Fab DK. Not as bright, um, but well, bright in its own way. It's got orange and stuff in it. Where the other one, I thought I had it in here actually, but I don't. I might have some in my giveaway. Nope. I do have some somewhere, but I'm not really sure where it is at the moment. But I do have loads of it anyway. So, I've got itchy nose now. Allergies are coming back. That's good, isn't it? <laughs> Packaging. <coughs> Yarn. So, naughty me. I'm back to bringing my tea in. But, um, there's no electrical stuff, so it doesn't really count now. I never want to see that happen again. Oh, I was so scared. Not only scared to unplug the stuff, which was frightening in itself, but scared that my laptop lead was going to be be no more and I'd have to buy yet another one you know I suppose I've had that laptop quite a long time it's probably since 2011 I reckon it was earlier than that but um, I've never had to you know replace the laptop so I kind of should feel glad about that but you know having to this have like three new leads for it is excessive but then again it would have only been two if I'd not accidentally thrown one away. That was not my finest hour. God, I was annoyed with myself. So angry. I'd ordered one and I'd gone all the way to Maidstone to pick it up and buy it. And I'd compl like complained and cussed to myself about how much I'd had to pay for it. 
got it home and thought I'll throw that rubbishy cheap one that I bought on eBay that didn't fit. I'll throw that one away. Threw the wrong one away, didn't I? And it wasn't until I went to plug it in when it had run out of charge and see this nasty little lead and I thought, oh no. And the, the dustman had been, so <laughs> I couldn't get it back. And I had to go and get another one. That taught me a valuable lesson. Be more observant. Check things before you uh, throw them out. <clears throat> but you know what? I was talking to Mike about this earlier. That's my youngest, for those of you who don't know. Um, I was going to give him a hard drive, um, which used to like be... I used to have a, a dressing table that looked like a desk, and it was on there with my computer. And um, when it all got unplugged, I guess the lead fell behind and ended up in a big pile of leads that had no home anymore. And so I didn't throw them all out. I threw quite a few out that I looked at and thought, I haven't never seen anything like that, throw it away. And the others all got put in the box and they're in, um, in the caravan where the storage stuff is. And they are buried beyond belief. And you know, I just think to myself, is that one of those leads that I thought, never seen anything like that, you know, throw it out. Or is it in that box? Paul did go through that box once trying to make some sense of it because he was looking for some leads but you know I'm wondering if I need to buy a new lead for that now. <laughs> why do they detach you know why don't they just have them so that they're permanently attached and you why should you have to keep like unplugging and plugging in it's so annoying what they're just attached like with that rubbery you know concertina thing where you can't it won't ever break you know what I mean. They kind of make it so that it's a permanent lead, rubberized, can't be broken. You know, everyone can replace a plug. The plug end, that's quite easy to do. Or pl replace a, a fuse, but... <sighs> I don't know. Too many leads. There are. Everything has a charger. Everything has a lead that attaches it to you, the, P the PC like, via USB. And everything is different. You know, I know that they did try and standardise phones once and Apple didn't want to know. You know, their charger is their charger. But even now, there are still lots of different leads. You've got the little thin one that looks like a, a rooftop. You've got one that's bigger than that. You've got one that's even bigger than that. That looks kind of like the old Game Boy ones. That's what this one looks like, like a big old Game Boy one. And the chances are, I probably threw it out thinking it was a Game Boy lead and I don't have a Game Boy anymore. So we'll have to see and if I have to, I have to buy a new one. But um, <clears throat> never mind, I'm babbling on. So yeah, um, plans today then to get maybe get that tutorial done. I didn't know whether to leave it until I do the project, but I think I might do it. Get my hand back in at doing a tutorial because it's been a little while and... Um, I get a bit rusty. Sometimes I don't. I go straight in and um, they go right. And other times I just faff about and make boo-boos and have to start again. I've got this ghostly goings on under my chin. There we go. So, yeah, maybe do that today. Um, it's Saturday. Nothing special about Saturday. So, um, no thwip Thursday. <laughs> And I can't do it with a sh because it doesn't sound right. <laughs> like ship Saturday, no. Sip Saturday? No. It doesn't really go. So, well, thwip was fine. I kind of, you know, invented that word. But, you know, nothing on a Saturday. So, sleepy Saturday. That's me. I was tired this morning. Mike and Gemma went for a walk along the beach and invited me to go along. And I just opened my eyes and I felt cold and tired and the thought of actually going out in that gloomy weather, although Mike said it wasn't too bad out, but and he said the sun actually come out down the beach for a while. And I just thought, oh, you know, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I can't. And, I'm, and I kind of regret it because, you know, they, they FaceTimed me while they were there and it, it was cute. And I would have loved seeing Tyler run around in those puddles. But honestly, I was just out of it. And... um 
Do you ever know when you get up in the morning sometimes and you're not really awake and you could just turn over and have another hour? That's how I was. And so I did. <laughs> and, I, and then I woke up and he was like, we're going now if you want to come. I was like, oh. You know, it's just like not really with it yet. And uh, I miss, I said, don't normally go that early. You know, they go, usually go afternoonish time and then I, I can go. But um, obviously Gary's working today, so I couldn't have gone out late anyway. But next time I'll have to, um, hopefully will all this um, icky stuff will have gone out of my life and I'll be uh, refreshed, I should I say. So yeah, I might need another dose of the allergy stuff, Come, you know, really got a bit of an itchy nose and, you know, still feeling a bit tired in the mornings and groggy. But um, it's worked really well. I'm so pleased about that. I was... I was beside myself and I hate it when I get like that. It's one thing that just sends it into overdrive and then everything upsets me. Normally speaking, I'm allergic to lots of things and I know I'm allergic to fur, so I, I pet my cat. Sometimes I go wash my hands because otherwise if I do forbid I touch my eye, I end up with a like, big old eyeball. So, you know, I'm used to kind of having a pet of the cat and then thinking, right, now go wash your hands, you know. But that doesn't affect me in a bad way. Um, but when I get like that, everything that is a mild irritant will send me into a spin. So that's what's happening, sadly. All gone now, thank goodness. Thank you for that miracle stuff. Um, they've changed the brand. That's why I didn't use it before, because I used to use something called Nasonex, which I really liked. But you know what it's like? They always try and cut down on costs. So they gave me a generic one, which I didn't like as much. So I didn't think about using it. Um, when I first used it, I thought, that's rubbish. But um, obviously it's not. <laughs> so, not. Not for the actual thing. It's really intended for. It's not. Last time I'd used it before that, obviously I had COVID. So I don't think anything made a dent on the COVID symptoms. So there you go. Maybe I, I, I didn't really give it the best try. You know, perhaps I, did, I thought I had allergies. It turned out not to be allergies, so I wasn't going to go anywhere, was it? So maybe I didn't give it the best trial. Anyway, so I hope you like my little bit of yarn. What do you think I should do with that? It's 150 gram balls, not a lot. I mean, I could make something for the little one out of that, but it's... I don't know what it will look, what it will come up like with the with the lilacs in it and the pink. I think even the white bits are kind of very light pink. It's not doesn't look white white if you get my drift because this is the white there so it's kind of pearly i reckon hmm not bad but very thin i would not class it as a dk at all no way no way dk that is definitely more of a four ply in the uk which i believe Oh, across the pond, you know, as a sport weight. So that does look decidedly thin. <laughs> and I don't want to double it up. That's just silly. Because I would, would only have um, 75 grams then, wouldn't I? I think, yeah. Wow. I haven't lost the maths then. Anyway, I'm going to get off, do my slim chat. Hope you like my... I'm looking forward to trying that out a bit later. Getting up with the bag. Then I can get the next tutorial done and get it out there. So um, I'm hoping it works. Gary will like it. He'll like drawing on that. Even if I don't use it. So it's only like £20. You know, not, not expensive. 22 I think it was. So um, £22 well spent really, I think. Even if he just draws with it. So thanks for watching. Um, stay safe and take care. And I will see you a bit later on maybe. If I'm not dead to the world and snoring, I'll do a, do a live. So bye for now.